today is called the festival of lights diwali means the festival of lights so each one of you is a light to yourself this is a festival it's done throughout india nepal singapore malaysia indonesia sri lanka mauritius suriname trinidad all these countries south africa everywhere they celebrate so it's in the east it's celebrated like christmas just like christmas they celebrate this the biggest festival people say wish each other happy diwali and give gifts and all that so diwali means festival of lights what let go the past all the past burden in the mind so the you know whatever better 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 whatever is there in the suppressed mind like the you you light fire crackers and let go like fire crackers all the past is gone finished everything burst out and fresh new life new mind begins huh? that is diwali one light is not enough one candle is not enough everyone has to become happy so many candles are lit as a symbol of society we have many and everybody has to light up it's not enough if one or two people a person are happy everybody need to be happy everybody need to be wise the knowledge wisdom of light is lit so that's what we will do as a symbolically we will write the wisdom the light of wisdom and uh, we'll celebrate today what do you say but diwali message of diwali is let go the past celebrate life with wisdom you know without wisdom it's not true celebration at all so it's a wisdom yes knowing the divinity is with me and today is also you you look at all the wealth you have you remember we have so much wealth and you feel abundance always the mind is always in a lack oh this is not there that is not there i'm sorry for this sorry for that from lack move on to abundance so what they do the ancient people the ancient custom is see you put in front of you all gold coin uh, see the number gold and silver coins and you feel you bring up all the your possessions all that wealth everything put in front of you and say good god has given me all this i'm so thankful feel grateful you know remember in bible also there is saying those who have more will be given to them those who do not have whatever little they have will also be taken away so feeling that abundance you recognize you have plenty you have an abundance and so you put all the money everything jewelry people and then thank god for receiving so much in abundance and then wish on lakshmi puja the goddess of wealth goddess of prosperity is worship and lord ganesha the god you know that impulse of consciousness which should remove all the obstacles in our path to happiness those chantings are done today so we will do we'll do a small guru puja and then 
will chant will play that c d the tape of chanting of ganesha those mantras those vibrations when those chantings are happening we just sit with our eyes closed and happily enjoy the inner beauty inner silence so we'll for each country we will light one lamp 27 countries in europe so we have europe for everybody everyone will light one one of this other more candles we will do that huh? so what else and then we'll meditate few minutes so that you know will in, in when we listen to the chanting we meditate and then we thank the universal spirit the universal power for giving us all in abundance and pray for give us more in this coming year give us more so that we can serve more yes yeah okay so we see the gold coins <laughs> gold and silver and all that but that's just a outer symbol real wealth is deep within us so we have so much joy so much peace so much love what wealth is more than this huh? wisdom wisdom is the real wealth your character your peace your confidence is your real wealth when you move with such confidence when you move with the connection to the divinity there is nothing that is more uh, richer than that that rich feeling inside you comes when you feel connected to the divinity when you feel yes i am connected to the infinite you know the wave remembers i am connected to the ocean i am part of the ocean that strength is enormous <laughs>